Palestine. Oh, they're going to be treated so good now. He was coming up because we came here. He was a great guy. And they'll be taken care of. They were not going to be taken care of. Did you hear any concerns from the mayor or from the fire chief? Well, the mayor's done a fantastic job. The fire chief has done a fantastic job. The problem was uh, the federal government was going to send nobody. And when I said I was coming, they changed their tune rapidly. And now they're sending the whole group. So the team is coming, and they're coming with a lot of help and a lot of money. Do you think Norfolk Southern has been held accountable and been transparent enough with the residents here in East Palestine? Well, they're going to have to be, and I'm sure they will be. And he, likewise, wasn't going to come. And when they saw I was coming, all of a sudden he came up. So I think they'll be very good for it. Thank you, Thank you very much. Do you have any regrets, Mr. Trump, on rescinding the rail uh, brakes law? There's been a lot of talk about it. So everybody, um, enjoy your meal, and we're going to get the meals for the fire department. Hello, everybody. What's your specialty today? How are you today? Nice to meet you. Hello, everybody. That's a nice, beautiful looking group of people. So I know this menu better than you do. Okay? I probably know it better than anybody in here. Uh, we're going to take care of the fire department. Okay. We're going to take care of the police department. And what we do is all the people that are eating. Right I'm now. the owner, Mr. Tr Mr. Oh, President. So How are you? I don't have to give you. That's right. <laughs> That's a good one to own, right? Yes, it is. One of the best. So we're going to take care of your fire force. Okay. Plus the people that are in here, they're going to get a nice free meal. All right? Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Nice. Good one, huh? Yes, it's very good. My first store. Oh, really? Yeah. How many do you have? I have eight stores. Whoa. Oh. He's a wealthy guy, huh? Is he a good, is he a good boss? He's a wonderful boss. <laughs> Thank so you. we'll take care of everything. We appreciate it. Knock it out fast for us. Okay? We'll try. Thank you. We'll be eating it on the plane back. Uh, thank you, everybody. Have a good time. Okay? I'm glad you came down. Thanks for stopping here. We're happy you came down here to visit thank you. us. Great honor. We appreciate it. Mr. Trump, why are you visiting today? Huh? Why are you visiting today? Well, we brought a lot of people with us, and more importantly, we brought the federal government with us because uh, when they heard I was coming, they all came. They weren't going to come. They were going to leave you abandoned and now they're not uh, the owner over here he saw that I helped out all the responders and everything the yeah. first week I was out here making egg McMuffins myself yep. Saturday morning you did a good with job these guys he did, he did so. a good job so give us a nice array of stuff take care of the people and I'll see you later okay thank you, so thank you all thank can you I get a picture much. with you what do you yeah, think about what's going on in East get a picture Palestine. please Sir, what do you think about what's going on here in East Palestine? President Trump, what do you think about Biden going to Ukraine? Well, I think he should come here. Stevie, come here. I think he should come here. Oh, God. Come on. Come take a picture of mine. No, don't. I got it. He chose to. I got it, brother. President Trump, do you think the water's safe? It will be safe. It will be safe soon because FEMA's now coming in. FEMA was not coming. There you go. They're coming in. And it will be safe. My mom loves you. I know. Here, come hey, on up. My mom loves you. She's 85 and she loves you. She told me to say hello. I don't know I'll tell her that. that. Hey, President Trump, do you have a hand? This is my son. Look at this. Oh, good. I don't know. Oh, I like this guy. He's a big fan. Yeah, he is. Come here. Take a look. That's, this is a guy I like. I like him even better than the father, but he voted for Trump too. Yeah. Is he a good pop? Yeah, he's good. You're a very wealthy young man. You know, I wrote a note to you in first grade. Yeah, I did. What did you say? I, I was talking about. I was, I was talking about how, you, how I was voting for you, and you're a great president, and all that, and with everything else in our country. Thank you, beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. Thank you. Thank you. That's a very nice boy you have. He, he follows you all the time. Every time you're on TV, he's telling me all about. It. That's very nice. But, oh, you know what we'll do? Here, this is for you. I like that one, but this one's even nicer. Okay. It's more expensive, I can tell you. This is triple the price of that one, right? Yes. Here you go. Thank you. Pop. Come here, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hi. You know what that is? That's, that's the best. That's the best. Oh, look at those boxes of food. Okay. Give me a few more. Give me a few more. Give me a couple of more. Biden, or rather, Buttigieg's criticism of you pulling back rail regulations. Do you think it would have made no, a difference? No, I had nothing to do with it. I had nothing to do. No, he's got to work on the airports. We've never had airports like this. We're like a third, a third world nation, and this is an example of the breakdown. It's all breakdown. Our whole country is breaking down. 
And he's really got to look at the airports, because I have people that are taking planes and they end up, they're delayed, they're waiting at an airport for three days. It's crazy what's happening. Are you shocked he hasn't come here yet? Oh, he should have uh, been here a long time ago. Boot Edge Edge. You know what you call him, Boot Edge Edge. That's the way. Uh, he should have been here a long time ago. Now, he was supposed to come today, but he heard I was coming today and he postponed it. But whenever he comes, he's got to do his job. And if we didn't come, they never would have come. They made a statement that we'll, they will not come. When he saw that I was coming, Pop, you know what happened? I know. He said, I know. we better get people there right away. So, he used to keep and his FEMA's great. You know, I had a great relationship with FEMA. FEMA so was they get the job done. That's all they What do you think of them blaming safe? you for some of the problems with the rails? Uh, it's actually hard to believe. I, every time I see something, I said, when will they blame Trump? No, we, they, I suppose they'll blame us for the border. They actually tried that for about an hour. That didn't work. So we have a border that's a disaster, and they're responsible for destroying. They are destroying, systematically destroying our country. He knows better than anybody. But they're systematically destroying our country, and it's a shame. And Boot Edge Edge should have been here already. And what do you think here's about railway safety? Here's some more hats, kids. Excuse me. Anybody want from the media? Anybody want from the media? What do you think about railway safety? Have a good time, everybody. See you.